Have you ever seen a more perfect sky, more perfect building, more perfect anything? We're at the Magic Kingdom. Have you ever seen this on the ground? Oftentimes it's full of people walking by and you don't realize it's there. I, I did it guys. I wore this hat to Magic Kingdom. So now I'm like stuck. I can't go in the backpack. It's too big. I just gotta, I gotta. You're gonna be so shaded. It is. My ears are gonna be good. I'm gonna be cool. I look like a 75 year old retired man. And that's life goals right there. So I know that I always talk about the World Showcase emblem being um, one of my obsessions. This is my other sign obsession. I don't have many like literal sign obsessions. And the grand reveal behind the red curtain, Main Street USA. And who we meeting up with? Miss Chelsea and Miss Crystal. We have not had a park day with them. We have not had a Magic Kingdom day with them. We had a Magic Kingdom night. Yes. We watched Happily Ever After with Chelsea and we had like that photo night with Crystal. So wait, is this the first time we're having like an actual day with yeah. them in the parks? And it's, wild. And it's been it's almost, it's been seven and a half months. Yeah. Well, they're teachers, they, they're busy, we're busy. It's like our bread and butter, like we came here with them as our friends. Yeah, they're the OGs. They're the OFs, the original friends. Chelsea's getting angry because me and Kristen are saying that we fall asleep in during this attraction. We're doing Tiki Room. It's a classic. Chelsea said we should do. We got a couple fast passes. They're gonna we're gonna do Pirates with them so they can fit in the scene. But we're gonna do Tiki Room and then Country Bear. And then later we're doing Carousel Progress. Air conditioning and short lines. Wait, wait! We forgot to wake up the Glee Club. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at her go. Look at these two go. I love this attraction. So do I. Secretly a wilderness girl. She she loves to own it. Yeah, I worked at Fort Wilderness. Did you ever work at Wilderness Lodge though too? I worked at both. She worked, she worked at both wildernesses. She's wild. Yeah. And well, wilderness. I can build a fire in about yeah. <laughs> like five minutes. Five. If you need anything, if you need survival guidance, just I'm bring not even me and kidding. Kristen. I'm very good at it. Because of the Chippendale. I had, I had to do both the campfires. I think me and Kristen need to make an episode, like a video of us going out into like the Florida wilderness and surviving like the survival <laughs> oh my man. God. Just us two, though. I'm to be able to do it. I'm not telling you the tricks. Well, yeah, she'll show, she'll show me the tricks. We won't show you guys. Yeah. Chelsea's full of all the. Chelsea hasn't been here in a long time, the Magic Kingdom since like Christmas time. So she's excited about all the good stuff, and she loves the quirky things like we do, like Tiki Room, Country Bear Jamboree, and so she's like, guys, we have time before our fast pass. Let's do Tom Sawyer. It was nice. Oh, was your idea? Yeah. Sarah's idea, but Chelsea and Kristen endorsed it, so we're doing it.
Look at this, this all their dreams are about to come true. This is a high school band about to go backstage to get ready to march. Sarah, Sarah's done that before. They're going to get ready to march. There was a lot of fun on uh, on Tom's for Allen. Their little checkers game. Their checkers game was fun. Chelsea kept getting heated. Yeah, they're super competitive. I didn't realize that Kristen and Chelsea basically aren't allowed to play games against each other because they just get Super ridiculous. Trying to convince these girls to get the chili queso fries from this outpost that we got with Katie um, about a week or two weeks ago, two weeks ago maybe. They're super good. So you guys know we've seen the new redhead like a handful of times. So we, we've been with Tyler, Megan, and Katie when they first seen it. And now we're also going to be with Chelsea and Kristen because they haven't seen it yet. So it's kind of like having a tradition. Like we need to be there when all our friends Earlier they were like running around through the bushes like a maze. <laughs> they were oh my so god. Cute. Look at them. If I was a duck, I'd live here. That's what I said. They don't know how blessed they are that they were born here. <laughs> how sweet. They're just like on that little trail. Like all in a row. Oh my gosh. Oh look at him get some water like his mommy. Oh my god. All right, so we're having a relaxing bit of time. I didn't realize Chelsea and Kristen were going so early. I kind of knew they were. I didn't realize what time it was. They're getting Casey's. I'm finally, we're, guys, we're doing it. We're finally gonna get a bucket of popcorn. It's 10 bucks for the bucket, but $1.75 for refills. So then going forward now, like it's a super cheap snack for like us to come if we need to run somewhere on the weekends rather than packing a lunch or if we eat a big breakfast no we're not staying through till dinner rather than packing a lunch or buying lunch here we'll just we're gonna get like a little one of those those climber d clips and like clip it to our backpack just to have hang in there here's the popcorn they have this cool one but i'm not gonna get that one because that's gonna be easier to manage but it looks like they're out of popcorn but we'll see Ooh, fresh here we go and it's fresh that popcorn that you saw popping out is what's in here. And look at the Main Street Philharmonic. It is, it is a beautiful day on Main Street. All right, I've got my G7X in hand and we're gonna see if we can set up some cool looking things. I don't know if this will end up working out. Look at that, look at that old glory. We're going to the movies! Ooh, we're going to see Ready Player 
One. Ready Player One at five o'clock, and then we're gonna go to Disney or Universal City Walk and hit up that Voodoo Donut. <laughs> We got out of the movie and it's like creepishly omin ominous out. Yeah, it's chilly too. It's chilly, there's darker clouds. I think I remember seeing on the weather app that it was supposed to be like a 70% chance of rain around it. Yeah. Rain around, rain around right now. But that was a really good movie. Um, really, really like it. I kind of think it has a similar feel to me as like a real life Wreck-It Ralph. Just cause like yeah. Wreck-It Ralph was like very, Mixed animation, pop culture references yeah, from the like strictly the video like, game I world. Love like pop culture references to other things and good music. And yeah, this was just like everything: music, movies, all pop Mostly culture. Video games. But no, but there was right. movie references, music yeah. references, the quotes all of it. it video games were like the most important part, yeah. but. Definitely go see it. Do not wait until the end of the credits. There's no Easter egg. I thought a whole movie about Easter eggs, <laughs> there'd be like a post credit scene. There wasn't. But it was really good. It's really, really, really go see it. Yeah, and it's super weird to be here right now. I'm sorry, I'm seeing this in my peripherals. There's like a new best Victoria's Secret, a Hollister, like, Sarah and I don't see those things anymore because we only go to Disney World and the grocery store. So for the past eight months, I think that's the first, like, I think I've only seen the mall like three times in my life since we moved here. Yeah, that was weird. So that was like a culture shock. The whole movie was a culture shock and then to see that just now. Yeah. That was weird. Peter, I napped on the way here in the car, and when we sat down, the, those chairs there are like relaxing. He's like, good night. Yeah. Did not sleep you stayed awake. awake, and I was, was super so nervous. Good. Like, I didn't think Sarah was gonna like it at all, and I look over and I'm like, so? And she's like, I loved it. And I was like, oh. Um, what did we get ourselves into? Look at the clouds. It's, it looks scarier in real life than it does in this camera. It's making all of this right there is dark gray. And even like what you're seeing in the camera is even darker. But it, it, it's starting to rain. I, I gotta look at the radar, but like, we, so we got to Universal. Since we went to the movie theater just on the road. I can see Rip Ride Rocket. I don't think we've been here at Ride night. Rock. Rip Ride Rocket. Oh, I thought you said Ride Rocket. I don't think, we, I think it's the first time we've been to City Walk in the evening with the park open. So it's gonna like put salt in that wound about us not having our passes yet. Cause when we get close enough, we'll be able to like hear the park. But we wanna get some uh, voodoo donuts since we're over here. I've been craving a donut for months. Literally since before Valentine's Day. I tweeted about it. I put it on our Instagram. So we're, we're finally doing it, and we get to do a new food on the We got three donuts. Well, one it's, is more like a fritter. That's the, the Memphis Mafia. Which I guess is Elvis's favorite thing. Five, five twenty-five. Mm -hmm. The Voodoo Doll, which is three twenty-five, three twenty, and then an old Captain, my Captain, which was two bucks. So it's like eleven twenty-five with tax. So the funny thing is they only have one one box size. So there's like half of one donut in there that Sarah's keeping for breakfast. That was so good. I think Universal just closed, but we are doing the thing that we always do. And um, we're gonna walk past the gate and be like, ah. Uh, Sarah literally, Sarah just said, all I've seen here is creepy Halloween Horror Night stuff and they're revving their engines. Cause she's only seen the, the vlog and that was the only vlog we have inside the park is when I was getting ready for Halloween Horror Nights. Wow, this is the closest I've ever, I've only been to Islands of Adventure. And it's funny, I've only been to Hollywood or Universal Studios. So let's talk about our donuts real quick. We got an Oh Captain, My Captain, which is probably my favorite one, even yeah. though it was like the less the craziest Crunch. one. It I was a normal. I've been so long and that was like my go-to cereal as a child. It was a normal donut with vanilla frosting and Captain Crunch on top, but it was probably the freshest for us. Yeah, it was so good. The least fresh one was probably the Voodoo Doll. But that was good, but it had raspberry jelly in the... In the it was so good, raspberry's my favorite filling. And then uh, 
the fritter. Memphis Mafia fritter was really good, the but banana so fritter with peanut butter and chocolate and nuts on top too. I just felt like the peanut butter was very strong. But if you like peanut butter, that's your thing. <laughs> Look how cool this! Sh I bet this shot is like, if I scoured like this right here, that's probably like Instagram morning of before park opens. Let me pretend that's a yellow wall instead of a purple wall kind of thing. We are bad human adults and we did not check the mail at our apartment for like five days. But look, we got a letter from Megan and Katie. And they gave us Easter candy. And they know us too well because it's dark chocolate. Thank you, Megan and Katie. We really needed this, especially chocolate covered espresso beans. Bye. And I think we should just sign off now because so I'm about to open up these espresso beans. My and make belly myself. still hurts from the donut. I know, but these, they smell so good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.